be honest, and I, I, I don't mind having this on record. To be like the rock star, I don't even want to do the quotes, it's, it's, it sounds terrible. But I suppose partly because of my personality and, and the way that I've, you know, that I just have. I'll never forget, they came in to meet me and they would go, oh, I was expecting somebody older. I think in their head, they even thought a jeweler had to be this kind of older man, you know, very conservative. And, and so when they see me and I'm not, you're suddenly, oh, he's like a rock star. That's how you end up with it. So I'm sticking with it. <laughs> I'm very lucky because on the whole, in the jewelry world, there's not too many people that have basically been a, had the luxury of bringing in almost everything I like in my life uh, and, and then spewing it out the other end into jewellery. So Beverly Hills, which is my favourite store, it's got this incredible position you know I mean if you if you're not from here and you're sat where I'm sat right now and you are kind of looking out this window you, you there's no question where you are you're in Beverly Hills where we are right now which is upstairs we call it the no regrets lounge which um, is kind of a bit of a signature for for my men's choice in fact that says no regrets in Russian which is biz sejelene which is no regrets in Russian you know last night we had a party we had 300 people here we were launching the, the Duffy exhibition of, of his photographs of Bowie. We had Mark Hicks, one of my friends from London, is a real famous chef that um, you know specialised in British food, and and it was just brilliant. You knew it was something new because I mean everything from the LA Times to the Chicago Herald Tribune wrote about this being a completely different kind of jewelry store. People already understand the connection why Stephen Webster, jeweller, would be having a David Bowie exhibition. I mean, it, in some ways, he's the perfect guy, partly because I was a fan all of my life. And, but, but, you know, my God, the guy looked like a bit of jewellery in his day. Oh, yeah. This is pretty radical for a jewellery store in Rodeo Drive, and, and I know because I keep being told. So it's not like I'm just telling people.